Absolute jam. Absolute banger. I'm a big fan. I love it. Don't you? Oh boy. Oh, so good. Okay, here we go. Stream is ready to be ready in one. Ah, jeez. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is the Bando stream. The Bando stream at twitch.tv slash Bando or youtube.com slash Bando. Do I actually still have that vanity link? I'm pretty sure you can type yeah, you can you can type youtube.com slash Bando. I don't know how, I've still I've still magically got a vanity link. Uh my name is Bando. If you don't know that was the case by now, then well uh Jory, that is totally my name. Uh, today is the 21st of February 2022. It was a wonderful day until it wasn't. It was rainy in the very, very evening. And it was a shame because I was expecting it to rain when it was uh, in the middle of the day. But that's okay. Uh, today I will be playing Quake, but not just regular Quake because we beat Quake last week. So how about, let me boot it up. I've actually, I, I'm actually, gonna, I'm gonna like completely plot to a spoil. I've got the, uh, <laughs> the, the no videos on. Um, I, di I didn't even realize that there's a, there's a uh, launch parameter that just skips all the videos, which is really cool. It lets me jump right into it. There was also another launch parameter I saw, and this was a bit interesting. I might have shown off that the, uh, this 2021 version of Quake, uh, not only does it run on the Kex engine and not necessarily the Quake engine, but like, uh, like Doom before it, uh, Bethesda put in an add-ons menu, and they keep adding in some things in here, except you may notice that, well, there were three last week, and now there's eight things in there? Is that X-Men? And the answer is yes, actually. What some swell chap has done is managed to, well, one, there's a command that actually lets you add in repositories <laughs> into this list of things, and some guys just maintain this repository, and it's got a handful of neat, uh, neat, mods and add-ons that I'll try out at a later date. But I'm not here to try out some add-ons right now. That is a later date. Today I'm here to start a new game. We're doing the Scourge of Armagon. Or as everyone on the internet will call it Scourge of Armageddon. But no, it's 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 Armagon. That might be someone's name. Scourge of Armagon was oh gosh, I completely forgot who made this. I did completely forget. Can I tab out and not like look like a fool? I, uh, hold on, wait, 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 Scourge of Armagon. Quick, quick, Scourge of Armagon was by. Oh gosh, it was two people. It was two people. Ah, okay. All right, no, 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 I got the answer. I got the answer. I got the answer. Scourge of Armagon was by, uh, Hip, uh, it's really just, I just read it and then it completely blinds my mind. Okay, you guys are gonna, it, what was it, Hypnotic Entertainment. Uh, the only other game that they made particularly of note that I saw on that list was Sin, uh, which was a 1998 shooter with a incredible bad villain that ended up kind of baiting you right at the end of the game. Uh, we start off with the Quake, easy, normal, and, hold on, wait, hard, um, you got a button here, it just locks you back in, of course. Um, this is a bit of an interesting level select area because, like, it's fairly involved. <laughs> there's a bit, there's a handful of walkways. We can go this way to easy. We can go around here. There's like a little walled off area here. We can go this way to normal. I can go around here. And I'm back up through a corridor. And I'm back to the starting room. The hard room is kind of weird. You're in a little padded cell where the gravity is low. And it gives you just enough room to jump up here. No lava pit though. It's not as cool as the first um, Quake. Uh, or as the original. Uh, and the nightmare difficulty I shall show off in a moment. Is... Oh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta run real far. You gotta go all the way through this corridor and into that weird like middle ground between the easy and normal. Head over here, up a few blocks, and up we go. 
and Nightmare's just hiding up here. It's not as, like, incredibly cryptic. Like, if you know that how Nightmare's hidden in the original, you could quite easily find this. And then, uh, you just kind of jump down, I guess, if you want to not take it, but sure. Uh, this game consists of three episodes, and the episodes just kind of go. Like, like the moment I walk into normal, that's when we go. It's going to be, hopefully, my goal to try and play through all of these, uh, this stream. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but as a Quake expansion pack, really what you're going to be getting is, uh, I believe it's 12 with three bonus levels, because three episodes. Uh, levels off the top of my head. A uh, couple of new enemies, a couple of new weapons. They get to chuck the Space Marine uh, enemies probably more than the actual game does. Um, it's got different music. I don't know who composes it off the top of my head, but it's not Trent Reznor, so I've still got a Trent Reznor Nine Inch Nails song as uh, the stream title, but that's okay. Start off with a bit of wandering around. I, I played this, like, probably a handful of months back, but I'm going to try my best to remember things and hopefully show uh, show off everything, or at least show off the, um, you know, the game and its secret levels. Uh, but yeah, honestly, I've only played this really a couple of times. I think they definitely cake on the secrets. You'll start seeing that there's like five secrets in this level. Um, I think it's, yeah, my routing is uh, not as ideal. Pumping systems are active, but you gotta just turn it off, don't you? And this is where I came from, right? I guess I could just keep going downstairs. But you can see, like, 58 enemies in the level. That's definitely more than what Quake started off with. But... Here's a new enemy. It's a weird little uh, scorpion that likes side-dodging all your attacks. It shoots its own nails. You'll see him do that maybe in a bit clearer detail when I'm not being attacked. Um, one thing I like about these expansions is that the hardware's a bit better, and so they just kind of expand out the levels. You've got this nice little open balcony here. Here's a new uh, weapon, by the way, the laser cannon. It fires these little laser bolts that start reflecting off walls. It gets a little bit annoying for you as a player. Kind of annoying. Um, it appears on this weapon wheel as well. Don't worry. Got a guy right here shooting me, dang. But I hope everyone, uh, everyone including you, the viewer, I hope you all are having a wonderful week. Post-Valentine's Day stress disorder. It's not really a disorder, but uh, I hope you've all had a, a wonderful week, I guess, coming up to the end of summer, I think, or in, in Australia, or winter, if you are in most of the Western and English-speaking world. Um, unless you're in South Africa, in which case you will participate in the same summer festivities as I have. Uh, but it's, it's time to get to that... Oh my gosh, jeez. By the way, yeah, the rocket launcher, first level. A rocket should fit well down this pipe. Bing! Pumping room is now accessible. That's a beautiful, beautiful bit of a scripted sequence. And there you go, that destroyed the pump. Pressure doors have now been opened. I got a little swimming suit, by the way, but I don't actually think there's a position to... There's not the, you know, the great opportunity to, to use it still. There's spawned a couple of enemies in there. And now I'm back up here, but that's okay, because I lowered the bars here, so now I can swim- wait, this is just where I was. And this is the other side of- this is just back out in here. Hmm. This is a bit of an interesting level, I guess, trying to- I got stuck on something. My goal is going to be up there, I'm going to keep those guys alive just so I know I've walked into the right spot. I think I just need a key. Was it up here? Well, no, that was kind of where I came from. And it didn't look like there was anything really hiding over there. Further up is right at the start of the level. So I was just trying to figure out where exactly, because further down is too far down. Or is it... Uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Three dimensions, am I right? I don't get it. I'm thinking maybe use a use the panel over here? Does this activate? You gotta activate it somewhere else. I know, and I know that that's, you know, that's the end of the level through a walkway, which the building is over there. So that makes me think, it's probably got to do with just being over here. Like it's somewhere around there, somewhere around there, somewhere over here. 
Oh, there we go. Just have to find enough corridors. You'll get there eventually. Determination. Ah, my my head. Ah. Oh my gosh. All right, so the the scorpion's gonna be an absolute, you know, jerk when it comes to any kind of fast firing uh, sh shot. There you go. Force field deactivated, but I got two out of five secrets. That's okay. Walk into the slipgate to exit. A little bit of an ominous music, but sure. Now I'm in the storage facility. 75 enemies. They go on a bit hard. Um, I know this level off the top of my head uh, is home to the first of three secret levels that I'll be uh, showcasing. You get to kill all the enemies in order to continue as well. It's a very odd uh, point. We actually have to do that. You'll notice that there's a object you can hit here, but we're going to save that for a little bit. Because it, it plays a remarkably bizarre purpose uh, in the secret level accessing. Uh, so we jump into the water, watch out for the fan. Like all great platformers, the fan kills you. So, how about let's swim through down here. I'm going to take some air. I'm going to continue swimming around here. And we get a little swimsuit. Now I can actually show that the swimsuit does indeed make you faster, as well as also letting you breathe underwater. There's also empathy shields. Not too sure what's going on there, but sure. Quake 1 still does not have uh, items, per se, like, uh, in the same way of, like, Hexen, where you can, you know, use a couple of items. Quake 2 ends up having that. But these DLCs, these, or oh, expansions, sorry, sorry. Correct language there. Um, these expansions are very, like, level packy plus a little bit. I love this force field. It's a great, it's a real cool particle effect. Like, like it's kind of like, oh, I mean, that's how you do it. You could just extend a bridge. But I, I feel like that's a pretty cool way of going about it. So... I guess there's 78 enemies, but a lot of them are these tiny dudes. So we got this key card, you can see that, and you can be like, ooh, but it's not quite. It's a little bit not quite what you what you want. But they put the down arrow there, they know you're probably going to take a, a, you know, a stab at jumping like that. Actually, even better, let's continue on. Because I've got the key card, so this door opens up. And you can clearly see three enemies sitting at the top here. Oh. I uh, just got another rocket launcher, sure. <laughs> I've not particularly been using my rocket launcher. Hmm. We reveal the ceiling. Reveal that the dogs jumping down from the from the high bits. Also the scorpions. I guess it's kinda neat. Oh my gosh. Oh! Hello. Someone someone really wanted to go ham on their quake scripting as well. I'm actually kind of a Oh, I, th I thought I'd, I'd just experience a bit of weird polygonal clipping, but nah, it's okay. I'm actually amazed that, like, this uh, port even um, maintains good compatibility with Quake C style um, ports. There you go. Look at these platforms move. You can tell it's a bit more uh, involved than maybe original Quake would be. So it's like, ah, not the gold key card is required to deactivate this force field. That's, that's to be expected, you know. Door, force field, always happens. Never trust it. I never trust moving platforms. Duke Nukem 3D, man. I'm gonna fall off every single one of these moving platforms. Every single time. Just gonna blow up everyone inside, apparently. We get our super duper nail gun. I also didn't even mention the uh, super duper shotgun that I got earlier as well. So the only thing I haven't got is the grenade launcher. Out of, out of that and the um the lightning strike weapon. I, I always keep forgetting what it's called. But uh Okay, fine. I was gonna I was gonna leave you guys until later, but no. No. There you go. Now I can get more nail gun. More rockets. There's so many goodies over here. It's even the big health right there, which I'm gonna grab because that's always that's always lucrative. There's a lot of items up here, jeez. I 
Ah, okay. Alright. So now here, I get a new item. This is the proximity gun. What you can do with it is you can shoot it. And then if anyone goes near it, including you, it'll do a beep and it'll explode. Uh, it kind of, it, for some odd reason, they didn't update the model of, like, this weapon or the, the new, like, laser gun. So it kind of bizarrely has that, like, look where, like, the left side's a little higher. Um, that's just because I don't know why the model was just slightly off. Uh, so now I've got a gold key card. My brain's trying to latch onto. Where do I go? There's only six enemies left in the level as well. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm not completely remembered. I gotta go that way. So let's see if I can go. Whoop. Oh, okay, they're just going right at me. Try and dodge this. Dodge this. Dodge that. I got a, a bad habit of spawning enemies on you. Up the lift I go. guy. There's a real fun like end of the level kind of room as well. It's like drop down and then you go. But wait! I didn't get the secret exit. So I'm going to show you how to get the secret exit and find a secret level at the end of the seat. Well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, no, my, my memories on this one, not as much. Uh, I did play it like ages ago. Um, only really played it once, and then really just played it recently, I guess. Um, but I did finish both of them. Off the top of my head, like, I, I don't know, I, I feel like these, the expansions are nice. They're great as, like, add-ins, but they're not, like, too fancy. So, here's how you get the secret exit, by the way. What we want to do is shoot a proximity grenade at the top there. I'm going to hope that it blows up on the switch. If it doesn't, then done. It's going to automatically blow up after a bit of time. I don't think I hit it right, so let me just <laughs> load back in here. You want to land directly on the button. You want to basically strafe run your way. It's going to blow up, and it's going to extend a bridge. That is really not doing it, is it? It's really not doing it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. No, it happened. This is the secret exit. You, that is just a remarkable secret exit. Like, you're seeing it right there. Was that seven hours? No. <laughs> so here's the secret exit. The secret level. Military complex. That's right. 87 enemies. We've got enemies hiding all in the corners. Amazing. Everyone loves swimming, by the way. You're going to absolutely hate this level if you hate swimming. I guess this also comes at like a, a real interesting time because like this this came out a year after Quake 1 and I feel like with enough time and professional effort people slowly began to understand 3D level design more and more like even more than what um, you know Quake could originally under, you know involve Whoop, up I go um, oh, okay all right I found the cool secret uh, I look at this and I go where do I necessarily go? That I'm, I guess I go back to the start. Ah, okay, even better, even better. You swim under the the exposed walkway. Oi! Except you've got a fan. I'm not a fan of that. You know it's good when you hit a button and it's like, ah, oh, two more to go. I love these like fun little bridges as well, because like, what are they? What are they putting you over? That's what I mean, I just feel like there's a lot of, like, neat, more concrete 3D features in this game than you'll find in Quake. Quake is, or it's, it's rather, the original Quake. It's very abstract, the original Quake. But now this. It's neat, although definitely they are 100% doing the monsters just kind of around the corner uh, treatment of everything. So I guess I found one more. Uh, I could swim down to the bottom, but I'm gonna run around like a like a dumby. I'm gonna need a silver key card for there. 
I'm gonna need a- this door opens elsewhere over there. That's okay. Man, I wish I went to this one, uh, second. There's a button there. Yeah. The, uh, the instrumentation in this music reminds me a lot of how, um, uh, as, as you know me, I, I love my Toy Story 2 soundtrack. It's got some good jams in that one. But, uh, yeah, no, the instrumentation definitely, like, reminds me a bit, um, I mean, not the choir has, but just the, I guess, the use of, like, piano. Well, I don't want you to just check that the door cannot, or the bars cannot be open, and then they just go, nah. Nah, you're going in. And then they spawn some enemies behind you. Fun. Everyone loves the descent. Always good fun. Enemies everywhere, man, I swear. So many. And so many of these, like, scorpion enemies are not, like, too iffy as well. Like, even... Even with the weapon that slow fires, you know, little projectile nails at everyone. Uh, the scorpion doesn't really, like, dodge things the best. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. So many, like, they drop all these, like, cells and shells. Like, it. Gee, you can use them everywhere. Stand here. Look at that. A little, little secret thing. Alright, now I've opened this door. This guy's chilling down there. A little bit of goopy water, that's okay. Pick up the key, and you just go up, and I guess we're here. Cool. Police are after me, apparently. Cool level design. It's, it's, it's nice, I like it. And then, up. Oh. Long walk back. Long walk back. So I had a bit of an interesting week when it came to uh, playing some games. Because uh, I decided to do a bit of a sampler week. I've been working... Uh, working as if like I get paid for it. But uh, I've been working my way through um, Dragon Quest IX's post game, continuing on. I've now actually done every single DLC side quest. There we go, you gotta do a jump. Freeze. Uh, they've been... Decently enjoyable to kind of annoying. None of them really break the formula too much, but I like how many of them do involve characters uh, and just like having a bit of an extra story or an extra bit of depth to the character. We gotta do some fun underwater swimming. Just to grab a yellow key and continue swimming. Wow. Yeah, th this is a bizarre point to let me leave. Good thing they put a quad damage over this. Uh, was it here? No, I guess it was over here. It would face me towards where that yellow key door was. They want me to fight all these enemies again. Time to just delete people. Uh, but it's going alright. Uh, I am now actually in Retro Achievement's top 10 uh, achievers on that game, so uh, soon I shall become one of three people to have subjected himself to playing through the entirety of the DLC. I've nearly got, um, or the, the entirety of like all the game's content to the point of like collecting all the items. I'm kind of on a run. The one that I'm going to find kind of annoying is uh, getting all the um, recipes, because a, a handful of the recipes all involve this is the wall shooting at me, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in the effort. I'm gonna get rid of these guys. There you go. Worth it. Worth it. Just to get that kill count. Now I'm in the lost mine. Everyone loves mine levels, don't they? I do like the the less abstract nature of these levels, though, I swear. Like, you look at this and you go, yeah, like... Actual, like, location, I guess. 
We even got like little skull doors. It's not a complete just like we took Quake levels and turned it into just like its own thing. Like they definitely uh, put in a fair bit of effort into trying to make something a bit new. Even with some new textures and all that stuff. Nothing that like crazy reinvents the wheel. But it's definitely cool that people can make uh, their own fun experiences, which is, I guess, something that, like, Final Doom definitely suffered and succeeded with. It felt very out of place sometimes. Now we've got the regular grenade launcher, now you can see the very different models. It's probably the most overkill weapon to use in this uh, scenario, but sure. Um, but yeah, Final Doom... Because, like, that's technically the uh, expansions, isn't it? Both released as one, one thing, but... One package, but yeah, it's a bit of a bizarre one. Uh, maybe one day I'll play Doom and then Final Doom. Final Doom as well, the other kind of confusing part is that... Um, they're all... they're both just as long as Doom 2. The, the two little megawatts that you got, not little. But it's like they're both 32 level megawatts and rival the size of... I don't know what's going on there, but sure. Down the rails I go. Oh yeah, the rocks start crumbling. The ground starts breaking behind you. Oh, you gotta go, you gotta go the secret route. There we go. Um, yeah, this is definitely a quieter, like smaller campaign. That's why I'm only expecting one one stream out of this. Now, okay, we found we found the weapon that I can't hit them with. Maybe the, the nail gun's alright. Alright. Time to make do, because you know what's happening. Ah, oh, gosh. Oh, cool. I'm stuck. I'm going to continue going down this mine shaft. It's a very neat level. I also, I like this kind of thing going on here. We can jump over here, get some stuff here, but... we got the battle of the, the two enemies. The little wraiths and the... Scorpion, the Scorpions at the end. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, nah. Dragon Quest Nine, still enjoying it. It's a, it's a good, fun time. Definitely a bit of a time killer. But I'm getting there. And uh, I'll chuck an RPG fix. Well, speaking of RPG fix, how about let's fix these guys with an RPG? Um, but uh, definitely. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Hi there. Whoa! Who did this? How long ago did I quick save? Okay, not too long ago, but still. <laughs> still. I fell for the oldest trick in the book. Yeah, no, that all comes crumbling down. Let's just get him with the rapid fire. Oh, jeez, that's a quickie. You head all this way down, and you hit a button, and you can totally see through the door. I mean, they got there in the end. Like, yeah, I guess I gotta go all the way back up again. Yeah. Uh, through the door. Oh, hi there. This is a fun way to lay out your room. Wait a minute, I wanna go... Oh wait, no, yes. Sorry, that's where I did come out. So now I want to go... Hi, this way. Uh... Well, let me start off the sampler by talking about, uh, two games that I played just briefly. Like, I just kind of played them, like, for one and off... Well, for one afternoon, just to get the gist of what they were. Um... First two were part of the Xbox Game Pass. The first one I played was, uh... Taiko Drum Master. Uh, there's a subtitle, um because like, there's a lot of Taiko Drum Master games. I don't know what the, what the name was. And also, I think the, the name of the game was not in English either. It was like Tengeku Drum Master. I don't know. Um, I've never played a Taiko Drum Master game. Oh, yeah, this. This. Like, what am I looking at here? You gotta just shoot a rocket at these, don't you? Uh... 
You just commit. You just commit. I don't even know, like, how they... Like, what's the intended way of getting through this? Just kind of committing. It's a real bizarre one, I swear. But that's okay, that's the end of the level. So. And now, a research facility, because why not? Did you did you miss the uh the 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 grenade launcher? The proximity launcher? We're just gonna keep giving you it. 72 enemies, not as many. But yeah, nope, that's by the way, that's four levels with the five levels with the space enemies. That's officially more than the original Quake did. And never mind that they were also relatively short levels. Here we go, the Thunderbolt. I can remember the name. Let's get this guy while he's chilling down there. In Cedar Rapids. There we go. Um, so, Taiko Drum Master, how's the game? Uh, I thought it was all right. I, this one's a bit of a bit of a tricky one for me. I my session was plagued with uh, this bizarre delay, and I know you can calibrate delays but let, hear me out this is my explanation of it what the game felt was that it wanted you to tap the note when visually the circle was overlapping the circle uh the hit circle basically but the audio from the song felt late or felt early like the the line was as in the beat of the song was not yet crossing the line, which meant I felt I was playing late. Now, this doesn't feel quite like audio calibration because the, uh, the, uh, the sound of the, the hit note came to me virtually immediately when I clicked or, or when I pressed the button. Uh, I am talking over understanding what is going on in the level design right now, by the way. I, I just, just want to know. Is this door? Like, am I hearing something open up? Why am I walking up here? Who knows? Maybe if I walk back, something just exposed itself. I guess there's two walkways here. I need the gold key card. Okay. Uh. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. This also <laughs> almost looks like you can jump out there, but no. I'm showing this underneath bit. I've got a flashy machine here. Maybe you got to blow up the machine. Eh, not quite. I do have a silver key, I guess. Yeah, I, I hear something. Something opens up when I step up, up, yeah, upstairs. The music is not helping. Alright, okay, I'm just gonna wander back. I'm just gonna wander back. Uh, actually back. Cause I guess I've got this key card, so I can go in here. Um, yeah, it was it was plagued with that, and uh, adjusting the calibration didn't fix it for me. Um, because, uh, yeah, it didn't quite fix it for me. I couldn't really figure it out because then just everything sounded weirdly late. So maybe I'll try it again. Uh, just try and really understand it. But that being said, I started playing just a bit visually and trying to adjust myself. And it worked okay. Uh, I, I feel like I'm lacking a peripheral. Definitely there's that as well. Like I'm playing on the Xbox Game Pass. I've obviously not got a drum... I've actually got like a, a drum pad, but I don't have, uh, it's a MIDI drum pad, and I don't think this game's really, uh, directly compatible with that. Um, I'd have to figure out a, a dynamic way of doing it. And also, the game, uh, how it works basically is that you've got the, the body of the drum, or the, the pad of the drum, and the rim of the drum. And, uh, you just got two kinds of notes. Uh, the game knows that you're hitting the left and the right side of the pad, but, uh, apart from double notes, there's no need for that, except double notes, I guess, are important for points, so, um, so there's that. Other than that, it's, uh, effectively a pretty simple rhythm game. You've got, uh, some notes where you have to, uh, hit with one, some notes where you have to hit with the other. you got some kind of roll notes, uh, got some notes where you gotta hit, uh, well, two, two sticks on the pad or two sticks off the pad. Never 
alternate like ones. Like you don't have to hit the rim and the the base of the the drum at the same time, or the pad of the drum. Uh, the song selection was mostly Japanese in the sense of like the animes or their uh, Hatsune Miku songs or their um, just kind of some original songs. Uh, but there's some songs from other games. I'm surprised that they managed to license like Outrun. So despite being a Bandai Namco game, hey, having Sega music is neat. Having Megalovania is neat. Megalovania is just a song that's got ridiculously more potential than anyone can comprehend. Ah, I could have jumped down there with a little bit less gusto. Oh, we got acid. Bit of health. Lots of enemies. Why not? You may be wondering why I jumped down there then. Well, if they keep spawning enemies, this can only mean one thing. This can only mean one thing. Oh, hi there. They open... Because I don't have the key, and it looks like they're guiding me towards here. Only for me to not have the key. Now I'm back to square one. It must be up there. It must be somewhere up there. Maybe did I just miss it on my way down from the pit? Well... The access is not quite denied, but sure. Like, was I supposed to fall on... Or maybe I was supposed to go down this way. Oh, this is... Yeah, okay. Alright. This is where all the fishies were. Cool. Ooh, just, just, just dart for the... For the ammo. All that stuff. Um... Yeah, it, it seemed alright though. I think what I what I thought was a little annoying about the game was that there's a currency, and the currency is used to um, unlock songs, to buy cosmetics, but the amount of money needed for a song felt like it was kind of high. Like, I had to play like maybe 30 songs. Uh, not, sorry, not 30. Well, was it 30? Might have been more actually, depending on how low your difficulty was. I was playing on just kind of the normal one because uh, I definitely found it was a bit tricky getting used to the notes oncoming. Uh, but I did manage to FC a bunch of songs on normal and then struggle hard on the slightly hard difficulty. Oh my gosh. Great animation right there. Okay, cool. I wonder where they want me to jump. I didn't even do the water bottoms. Oh, we know it. I know where this is going. We got the battle room. Everyone loves a battle room. We got scorpions on either side. But overall, I'd say it's all right. Uh, I have lost nearly all my health. Cool. End of the level. Or is it? No, it, it is. It's the end of the level. That's gotta be a fun contextual reason why you're in another world. They even changed the skybox, how cool is that? <laughs> Did I just like jump back? Oh my gosh, I'm going into space. It is just like, it's a hallway with just no walls. Well, sorry, the walls are there, but just not textured, but still, it's cool. All right, time to read out text that's really slow. Deep within the bowels of the research facility, you discover the passage that the followers of Quake have used to enter our world. The bastards use some type of gigantic teleporter to overload one of our own slip gates. As long as this portal exists, Earth will never be safe from Quake's cruel minions. If you can find the source of the portal's power, you can shut it down, possibly forever, with only a moment's consideration for your own safety. You re-enter the dark domain, knowing hell would be a better fate than experiencing the reign of Quake. 
Yeah, okay. Oop, I've dropped down. So now, let's shift gears. We've got the Ancient Realms. New episode, new, uh, well, not new arsenal weapons, but starting from scratch again. But that's, that's alright. We got a, oop. Hi, here's a new enemy. These guys are not a joke. Sorry, they are a joke. I don't know why they exist. Everyone loves the yoga. It's always a classic, but like, I don't know what those little dudes are, really. Oh my gosh, jeez. Hey, he's on him. He's on the other guy. You guys, he's falling off now. Uh, yeah, all I can say with Taiko Drum Master is that, like, they do expect you to play it a bit in order to unlock more songs. And the song selection, when it starts off, it feels a little small. It feels like it's about 30. So you just gotta work your way to unlock the other songs. Also, uh, the shop only sells a couple of songs at a time. And it's on a rotation, which you can trigger. You can pay money to cycle the, the shop, or you can wait in real time. And I'm screwed. Oh my gosh, that was close. Get at it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All good. See, now, you, now you, the game's playing hard. It's like, yeah, nah. You thought the spacesuits were easy? We know. That's why it was episode one. They know it. But again, like, we got some fun, like, kind of uh, complex levels. Oh my gosh, that, that one's uh, entirely, it's still entirely on me. You ever get that, like, itch on your face and you're like, eh. Oh, they eat people. I don't really... It doesn't really click in my head, like, what that's gonna insinuate, but sure. Don't get lost here. I believe I came out of that room, so... The Horn of Conjuring. Oh, you get a little doggo! There he goes. I believe he follows you as well. Yeah. How many times is this gonna get used? Like, twice. I'm gonna need a bit of health, if you don't mind, game. <laughs> There's more appropriate enemies to send at me. I need the silver key. Uh, one of these guys... I mean, there was one health pack over here. I guess it's that. Uh, yeah, I don't have too many thoughts on it. Just I need to figure out the... Cool. There goes basically the health pack. Cool. Uh... I just need to figure out the the, the latency thing. Uh, it's a bit of an odd one. Um, I also thought it was a frame rate thing because maybe it's like 144 hertz. Maybe the game is running too fast, but uh, no, it seemed the same on at 60. Whoop! Bit the pick close. You may now get the silver key. Oh, thanks, game. Appreciate it. It's like almost a deathmatch map, but not quite. That's my dog, and I just shot him. I'm a terrible person. I don't think he lasts very- No, he, he does not last very long. <laughs> Alright, well, here's the silver key. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, hi there. I hope people were not laughing at my bad aim just then. Whoop! I saw it, I saw it. Hi. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, Nelly! Ooh, I wonder if I can, like, sick him on him. There you go. That's exactly what I want. Get the Shambler fighting the boar. Get him! Yeah! Oh my gosh, this little... This thing is a panicking, because I guess I got a minimum distance I gotta go. Okay, he's done. Hopefully he's pretty worn out. On. There you go. Easy source. Easy source. Good stuff. So now I got the key. I can now use it on the door that was somewhere up here. One of these rooms. You just uh, kind of had to notice that there was a door. Uh, this is the beginning of the level. There's no, like, secret water at the beginning here. I didn't walk past. I might as well get to the help. I'm not gonna walk out of here again. 
Uh, yeah. So, let me dive into game number two. Game number two of the Blendo just tries out random stuff was The Good Life. Now, I remember mentioning The Good Life at, uh, when, uh, the E3 Indie Live, uh, showcase was on. And I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, that looks a bit engaging. Um, I didn't realize that it's just Deadly Premonition, apparently. I've never played Deadly Premonition, but I was playing it to a bunch of mates, and one of them was like, this is like Deadly Premonition, but bad. And I was like, oh, really? Which is a shame, because I was having a crack up time. Where is he going? Where are you going? <laughs> He's going to pathfind his way all the way back up here. I love this edge of the castle business as well. Even though I think in my brain I'm going, is this actually, like, above the edge? Let's jump down, let's check. Knew it. Let's get him old style. Because the axe does a fair bit of damage, doesn't it? Yeah, it's... Not too fast. I got a grenade launcher, though. Cool. <laughs> did I, oh, did I get him with that last shot? Ooh. Cool. Okay. So, this level has a secret exit. I also don't have any of the secrets. But if I shoot that, a barrier has been lowered. You just gotta kinda know that it's like, okay, a barrier is somewhere. But where? I believe all the way back out. Let me see if I can actually just like stumble across another secret on the way. This area, I swear, it just keeps going. It's, it's remarkably like maze-like. Uh, so that's the staircase up. Actually, no, this is also the staircase out. I want to go here. Cool! He path found his way into the exact same room he was always in. Uh, what you can do is, I believe, take a jump here to which there's a little wall, and you can open that up. And after hitting that switch at the end of the level as well, you get this little bit down here. Where I get nearly killed. But this is the secret exit, so I guess I'll, I'll just take it. We've got the Gremlin's Domain. 85 enemies. Jeez, bro. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, no, The Good Life. How do I explain it? Basically, uh, it's a... I guess it's just a third person, kind of... Walking around kind of game. Where I immediately notice, okay, so you play an American New Yorker. You come to this quaint British, uh, town out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, or as, uh, the main character likes calling it, a goddamn hellhole. Should I be locked in a room with this guy? I wouldn't invite this guy near my kids. Um, uh, so your main character doesn't like the English place. Why are they there though? Well, they're 30 million pounds in debt. That's your goal. Uh, and they're a photographer. A f uh, not freelance, they're something. They work for someone, I think. Um, but they're definitely in very big debt. And they're like, well, this is where the scoop is. This is where I need to go to make my money. There's a big secret. And I'm gonna find it. She quickly finds out on the first day after being uh, greeted by a very strange woman in a wheelchair that I'm only gonna say like the first two hours of the game because like, uh, oh my gosh, whoop, 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 cool, uh, hi, okay, that guy on the top is like just the meanest thing, good thing I got him like that, cool, and the bars are open elsewhere, oh darn. And I need a gold key. Even worse. Uh, so she, yeah, she's greeted by a weird, strange person in a wheelchair who's married to a, or his brother, sister, sorry, sister, to a very, very, very eccentric um, man. We'll just say that. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of. Just, I, mm, mm, oh, mm, okay. Um, so okay, this is a bit of weird stuff. The townspeople are a little weird. Not some people are friendly. Some people are just very, very odd barrier has been lowered. Oh my gosh. Can I not fit down the side? Not quite. Just 
chilling up there lobbing things at me. Can't believe it. Uh, then you find out, oh, you get a, you get a, the wheelchair lady sneaks into your house somehow and tells you, don't go out at night. And you're like, I, I can't read. So you, you go out at night and you realize everyone turns into cats and dogs on the full moon. And it's very odd. And uh, also, your main character learns or just somehow gathers the ability to turn into a cat. And then eventually they'll, they get the ability to turn into a dog. You use the cat and the dog powers to basically uh, discover new kind of areas to go to. You can uh, attack things as a cat or a dog. Kind of interesting. Um, on top of that, I didn't even mention, like, yeah, your character's a photographer. It's a photography game. You can just hold down left trigger and just take a picture of things. And that comes up a lot in quests, which almost everything is a quest. Like a guy tells you like, oh, like it's, I didn't plan for that at all. It's just gonna happen. Um, like the quests just like come up pretty, pretty organically. Like just, just like, oh, like I'm talking to a guy and it's like, oh, you wanna like, like help me out with this one thing or like, all this kind of stuff. We're like, oh, I'm afraid of this thing. Can you take a picture of it? Uh, like a piranha's nibbling my feet. Ah, get him out of here. There's another one still down there. I'm gonna get him. Show him a piece of my mind. There you go. There you go. Really showed him now. All of that just for a key as well. That's the best part, but... It was pretty engrossing, just like how neatly it all came came together as well. And uh, the town is the town itself is small, but the map surrounding the town is massive. And I I barely like cross that. It, I feel like the game will continue to kind of open up new horizons uh, as I continue on. Um, I thought the writing was actually kind of like fun, silly as well. Like the main character is legit like trying to play it straight, and everyone is just like silly as. Um, trying to call in my mind where the silver key went. Maybe it was down here. Uh, I think it was it. Yeah, yeah. I remember being so low of health coming around here and then just like that enemy shows up. Ruins my day. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I definitely enjoyed it uh, for the two, three hours I think I played. Three hours. Um, uh, oh yeah, and also the wheelchair chick uh, ends up getting killed. Mysteriously. Sword in the, in the chest. You just chase her, and suddenly she's dead. And you're like, what? So, uh, also a fun mechanic as well. May I just add? Uh, so, a quick way to earn a cheap buck earlier on is to effectively post your photos on Instagram. Except your camera kind of sucks, but that's okay. It looks artsy. So your photos go on Instagram. Anyway, I took a picture of the dead body, put it on the uh, Instagram in-game, and uh, it got a lot of crazy, like, traction in-game. And I'm like, out of, out of everything I've done, the active crime scene, not, not even the active, the pre-crime scene, as in, like, no one had found it. I was the first person. And what's the first thing I'd do? i post this dead person on Instagram. Absolutely insane. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, so... I'm just gonna assume I'm gonna follow the arrow here. What a fighter. I'm gonna assume I need some health, right? Here... Uh... Alright, one of those got him. Whoop! 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 At least he can't get me down here. I got the rocket launcher, what am I worried about? There's another guy over there. Cool. Now you can go and you can... There you go. Definitely got him. Hi there, how you doing? Cool. All the health is gone again. What's this like a little bit like right here? Just to make a shortcut. Why? Very interesting. Uh, but no, yeah, I legitimately recommend The Good Life. I One thing I found absolutely amazing, this game came out in, uh, it was either August or, or October. It has 
90 reviews on Steam. And they kind of range between people saying it's Deadly Premonition but not as good, to which I've never played it, but yeah, I guess like if that's if that's the, the stance people have where it's like I'm enjoying a game that's actually like an inferior version to an older game that's better, um, then by all means I guess that's probably the one to play, but I'm also like, yeah, like this one is doing really nicely. I'm really enjoying it. So all, all I can just say is, well, I mean, if you've got an Xbox Game Pass, give this one a go. I'm having a great time. That's that's all I can say. Uh, I'm trying to navigate my way to this door. Finally, I've figured out. They're not spawning enemies like they used to, you know? Done, so really enjoy that one. Uh, then I played... Uh, that's, that's me done with the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, then I played a game called Pizza Connection, or Pizza Tycoon, if you live in the States. I, I will describe exactly what happened in this game. It's a DOS game from 1995, I believe. Maybe it's 94. I'm, I'm leaning in towards 95. It definitely, like, as a, as a remarkably late DOS game, like, especially when it came out a year before Quake, um, the UI actually runs really well. Like, one issue I have with a lot of DOS games is that the absolutely unruly to play like you have no idea what's going on uh, like UI wise so I can safely say I'm glad this game seemed pretty good right the only thing I had like as a gripe on the UX design is that uh it would sometimes like hard cut towards just like a small like image with a with a um text blurb on it to basically tell you that something's happened like something important's happened and uh yeah, it sometimes takes me a bit out of the experience, but... Well, I missed one enemy. That took nine minutes. Jeez. So now, the Black Cathedral, the actual second level of the game. But that's alright. It's got a neat soundtrack, this game, but, uh... It's not Nine Inch Nails. I guess that's your... Your hard, like, competition, I swear. I remember getting incredibly lost in this level. Also, I think we're due for another enemy. I, I mean, I guess it's second slash third level, so then again, it's out of five. Got him, and I need a key. Darn it. Oh, hi there. They really like these, um, these little stair walkways. Oh, cool. I could have done that one a bit better. Alright, you killed these two guys. You think you're safe? Check this out. Let's put a boar at the end. Oh, oh, that's in the way. Hold on, I want you to take this one. Take it. There you go. Cool. Rocket launcher, why not? Hit the button. Take him out with a remaining bit of this. Why, well, yes, it looks just like the beginning of the level. Uh, so, yeah, Pizza Connection. Uh, basically, how it started is that it comes up with a pretty simple menu. Uh, I immediately went in with the first kind of quick play scenario. Because I thought, well, sorry, the first, like, first scenario. We'll just go with that. There's like a, there's like just missions that you can do, like a lot of, I guess, strategy simulation games at the time basically did. And uh, so I was like, let's just do the first one, let's try and understand what it was. And uh, it basically was just like set up your, your pizza empire, basically. Um, at least I believe that's how they go. What a wonderful button, by the way. Just to get a quad damage, well, I gotta wreck some people in a moment. Oh, we got a wonderfully big hole here. And now I'm back in a room, and I'm... wait a minute. Okay, cool. I'm gonna need to take this guy down quick. Jeez, there you go. Bonk, 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 bonk. I think that was a good use of, of that quad damage. Uh, so I start off, and the game immediately kind of prompts you with uh, pick 
a, a city on like a world map, uh, except the it was like the world continents across the Atlantic, except the uh, Atlantic was really, really smush. Like Europe was right about to, to get into Florida. Madrid and and and, uh, and uh, Orlando are not that far apart, apparently. Um, it was a bit weird looking. Uh, can't really say too much about that. Um, but I clicked on New York, because why not? Better than a goddamn hellhole, I guess. Um, I don't know how I'm finding these secrets, but sure, I'll accept it. The tower has opened. You know, I'm really glad that I'm invisible to this guy. Cool, okay. Uh, but, so I clicked on New York, and then I was immediately prompted with a, a town map. It looked almost SimCity-esque, but it was definitely not like the window-based kind of layout of SimCity. It was, it was pretty much just like, here's an inlay, uh, with a, with a bit of a UX header on it, just to, just to show that it's neat. Uh, and then some sidebar buttons. And, uh, it wasn't quite clear that what you actually had to do was find a place to rent. Um... So I was clicking on, like, various shops. A lot of them were residential. I wasn't really too sure which ones were residential and which ones were businesses that I could buy. Uh, then I was like, oh, okay. I'm now going to click phone on the side. Contacts, I think it was. And then I saw a, an option for real estate. And I was like, okay. And then it showed me, like, six people. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I clicked on the first guy and he said, I don't know this place. Get lost. And I was like, oh, geez. So I realized that the place you click on has a very like okay one there's a there's a screen on the right when you click on the place it doesn't like it's just an always on screen info panel and that always on screen info panel changes to show details of the property but also it doesn't always show the details of the property it starts alternating between things so i was deeply confused as to like which place it was until i just kind of stopped on it for a bit and saw that uh it was actually just like some business. So I, I click on it and then I go, oh, I've only got $30,000. Most of these places are 38. And then I'm like scrolling around, scrolling around, and then and, and this is just for renting as well. I scroll around a bunch. I finally find a place that's less, out in the middle of nowhere, and I rent it. So there we go. Okay, so, so I figured that one out. Now, you click on the business and now it shows you a blank screen. So, okay, one of the buttons you have available is open restaurants. So I'm like, okay, I'll open it. Oh, no, you need you need at least a, a chef to open. So I'm like, okay, I click on the star screen. I click on chef, something along the lines of that. Just kind of hire the first guy. Who, who knows? Who knows what I'm doing? Oh, great, great freaking spawn. A plus clap, game. A plus clap. Can you smell the sarcasm dripping out of your monitor right now? They spawned the vor right behind me. Can't believe it. And also the fact that I'm out of every other, like, kind of attack. Kind of weapon, jeez. Oh, they put the big health over there. Actually, I've got to, what you've got to do is stand at the lectern, look to the heavens for the answer. Uh... Tiny little thing to hit, right there. Hope you're hearing some, some wonderful noises. It pulls them back to reveal a secret area. That wasn't quite what I was expecting as well. Look at that, that's the real time as well. Not at all. <laughs> um, so, okay, I buy the chef, and then it said you need a, a waitress to open. I'm like, oh, okay, geez, okay. So I buy the waitress. Then it goes, you need at least... Oh, actually, no, sorry, the, the restaurant is open. It's, uh, it's open already. Um, I think maybe they said I needed an oven. I think maybe I needed that. Um, I guess this is the tower, because it looks like some doors open and some enemies are here, so... Cool. Wait, no, that was just where I was. I've got the yellow key, so I guess I just need to find a door that takes the yellow key. And I've completely forgotten where it is. You know, when your level's got 99 enemies... It gets a bit tricky following along. Let's see, we've got an arrow pointing this way. So I assume if I keep ascending, I'll eventually find 
exactly this door again. This room. That's not quite where I want. There's just a very specific point where there's a yellow key door. Now back down here, so... Okay, that's a bit of a loop. That's a bit of a loop. But there's also new enemies over here, so maybe this is where I need to go? This is, this is a bit of a confusing level. Sorry, Hypnotic. You've lost to me right now. The lack of water map. It's definitely a bummer. Come on. Come on. And now I'm just back here at the basement of here. Alright, alright. Keep your eyes peeled for that gold door. I'll, I'll wander upon it eventually. I wonder where it is. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, okay, so then I buy the oven, I pop it in the place, and now here comes the tough part, the pizzas. The pizzas. So, you click on recipe book, and it comes up with a list of pizza names. You click on it, and nothing happens. What you, like, you can press in the button with the name of the pizza. Also, this room, I swear, that, like, I don't know what they intend for you to do. The whole floor just breaks under you. And it's, it kind of moves a bit too quick. You just, and also you're kind of dead if you're in the lava. So what I think you're supposed to do is like bunny hop. Like I maybe I had a better run of this before. Jeez. Okay, bounce, 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 bounce. There may be a safe ground. There may be a safe. There may be a safe ground. This is this is level design someone signed off on. They they saw this and said, yep. Maybe I'm supposed to just take it slow and also get that guy in the corner. Like I just walk up to the platform and it'll drop around me. It doesn't really drop around me, it kind of drops at me. Okay, I'm following the path. I'm following the path. Path of righteousness, right here. Okay, then I just kind of follow on the way back around. Okay, there you go. Blender learns. Blender learns how to... It's a bell. Oh my gosh, jeez. Ah, yeah, yeah. So now, now just an exit opens up like right at the beginning. You're just supposed to know that there was a clock right above where you started as well. I, did they just add time on? I swear that wasn't at 10 minutes. Okay. We need some catacombs. Always a good one. 100 enemies again, by the way. They start, whoa, they start kicking it on. Uh, so, okay. So I click on the pizza name. I click on the pizza name and it doesn't really do anything and so I'm like, hmm, okay. One of the buttons said make pizza, which is a we bit weird because I don't know how to make the pizza. So then I'm greeted by a screen that says, that goes, oh, make the pizza. There's four buttons, there's a pizza like dish, just pizza base. Uh, hello there, Heen Bon, how are you doing by the way? Um, there's a pizza dish on screen uh, and a couple of like four like item menu drop downs. Uh, you click on it, it shows like 20 different ingredients, like each of them. So I'm like, oh, geez, okay. Um, so I'm like, okay, well, tomato is the obvious one. Tomato is the clear one that you click. Uh, and then... Uh, I put a tomato on the pizza. I was like, like, like just a whole slice of tomato. Not pureed or anything, it's just a slice of tomato. So I'm like, cool, okay. Put a slice of tomato on the pizza. Call it a day, send it off. I get, and then it goes to a panel of judges. I was like, why do I have a panel of judges? Like, I just want to sell people this pizza. My one, one tomato slice pizza. Uh, but no, they all read it at zero. And I assume, uh, I probably could have sold it, but it, like, I would have known it's bad. Or something like that. 
Um, so I'm like, okay, sure. Uh, so I decided to go, let's consult the manual. Because I've got this game on Steam. And it conveniently did come with a manual. I look at the manual, and the manual is a, uh, I'm talking about, yes, I'm talking about a pizza connection on, on Steam. Uh, I, I, I just like describing the, um, the games that I've played, uh, in the week. Um, some of these games are good, some of them are definitely bad. Um, so I, uh, yeah, so I, I consult the manual, and it's an in-universe, like, mafia manual on the art of pizzas, the history of pizzas. Uh, not like tons of writing, but definitely a bit of writing. I guess I just closed the drawbridge door on myself. Cool, can I open it back up? Cool. Um, bunch of these little dudes. Uh, so, so, in the manual, it does describe the recipes for a handful of the pizzas, such as the uh, Nepolitana pizza, which is the one I wanted to, to start off making. Uh, it basically involved, it said, 400 grams of tomato slices. I'm like, 400 grams? Each slice is 20. I believe, am I going to be introduced to a new enemy? Or well, one, I got a horn, which made me a little, uh... Little guardian guy. And he actually survives a bit longer than he, than anyone else would. And he's trying his best to hit enemies at the top. He's getting there. Cool, okay. Uh, so now what? Ah, stairs. Woo! Uh, so I'm like, okay. So I follow the instructions. The pizza now has 20 whole slices of tomato littered across it. It's got, uh, oregano. It's got, um... Uh, that guy is my team, man. I just shot him. It's really hard to know. Who put in this feature of, like, the horn that spawns an enemy? Okay. I'm... Whoop. Can he see me? Like, is that like... There's like a little bit of a crack and that's how he's seeing me and therefore thinking maybe he needs to shoot at me. Can't believe it. Oh, we got a button over here which makes a wonderful staircase reveal and also the enemy keeps wandering around. But there's an elusive key at the end. And I'm not doing any jumping just yet. You probably can do some fun shortcuts with that. I don't know my speedrunning strats on this game, unfortunately, so... You're gonna have to take my my word on how I played the first game. This is a fun cross as well. So I follow the recipe, make the pizza, and I get sevens, eights. Cool. I think it's good. And then it comes up. Overall rating, 38%. I was like, what? Okay. I do the same thing for the margarita pizza. It involves a little bit more tomato. Oh, there's also got uh, mozzarella cheese. Which I'm like, okay, sure. Which also, yeah, makes me realize it's like, yeah, like, like, uh, Neapolitana doesn't have cheese on it. It's just kind of like you put the tomato straight. Very odd. I'm, I'm always, like, one to, to say, like, the cheese is very important. We got, like, cheese pizza. You know, it's, it's a classic. A, a, a boring classic, but I like it. I'm a meat lovers guy. That, that's my pizza of choice. Um, we'll never find these four secrets. We'll, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like them. These guys. Actually, I might be able to get them if they keep dancing around over there. Yeah, cool. Um, so I make the pizzas. Now they're on the menu. And nothing happens. I click the end turn button. I know, what a brilliant button. I think that's my guy. Because he's glowing. He's got a light on him. Uh, I click the end turn button. Uh, it doesn't really show anything happening. Which is kind of odd. So I... Click and turn again. Still no. Um, am I supposed to wander all the way back? Hi there. <laughs> you didn't even like take a swing. You just kind of stood there. Also, this is a fun placement of a little bit here. That's not really anything to keep going on with, but sure. Well, I'm at the top, so how about let's just work my way back to the castle bit. Should there be that many, like, extra dudes that just spawned in? That's actually my guy. I'm just, I'm just killing him by now. Oh, wait, the, the yellow key door is down here. There you go. Oh, no, wait, I don't have the yellow key. It's not quite... Oh, here we go. Just try long enough. Look at that. 
The Molyneur. It does lots of lightning damage. And blows up all these weak enemies. Good, good fun. Everyone likes a good hammer weapon. Always good fun. Uh, uses the same ammo as the, the Thunderbolt, but I guess, like... It's kind of good fun to use instead of the Thunderbolt. I think I got him. So, I, I'm scratching my head. The one thing that clicks in my head is that I don't have furniture. I think the game was talking about getting furniture. So I'm like, okay. So I buy some chairs, buy some tables. I specifically tuck the chairs into the tables so that the game even like mentions that like this table has certain capacity. Still nothing. After clicking next turn enough times, the game said, you didn't achieve your target in time. Game over. And it closed. It just quat out the game. Past sense quit. Um, and at that point, I said, yeah, I got no clue. So I never, I didn't play the game again. It was a weird 40 minutes of bizarre, like, just wandering around. The manual, by the way, does not describe how to actually play the game. It only describes pizzas. Oh, these. Did you just see that enemy? I think I might get more in the near future. Also, what's with the death traps, bro? Actually, yeah, can the Shambler just walk right in front of the lightning? Why did you- oh my gosh, hi! Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Cool. They didn't plan for me just jumping over- okay, look at these weird things. I hate these. These are actually the worst. They're like bombs. By the way, know how much health I was on. 113 and 165. I let one of those touch me. I've lost like 150 health. I think the best weapon to use is the the nail gun, isn't it? It's hiding there. Oh no, it's actually gone. Okay. Time to just magically appear somewhere. Who hid this up here? I saw this like balloons. Yeah, they're very weird. Very weird enemies. I don't know whose idea it was. But I don't like them, they're not fun. They just float towards you as well, it's very ominous. I guess the shield is, uh... <laughs> Finally I'll hit him. The shield is doing its purpose. Well, well, There we go. The coffin is your exit! Okay, sure. Out I go. One last level, the crypt. I love, I love this like exit back here. We got a little bouncy pad just if you want some some armor, which I apparently don't need it. So cool. Mm, don't like him. You can't even do anything. Like, well, I guess you can run away. Still, still, they're crazy. I don't like them. So. Yeah, so anyway, that's my that's my thoughts on pizza connection. Eh. <laughs> not too not too much. Just uh I don't know. I've got the second game as well, and I I hear the second game's a little bit better, but I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I did read on Wiki on Wikipedia, uh Pizza Connection is in PC World, PC Gamer World, I think that's the magazine. Back in nineteen ninety six, their wonderfully magical list of Worst, best and worst PC games of all time, at least from 1996. And, uh... This is a fun little room. And it's just chucked me back at the beginning. Cool. Uh, and, uh, this game got number 35 on their worst, um... That is a long, like, cooldown animation. Jeez. Number 35 on their worst 50. Which I thought was like, oh, that's pretty bad. But then I saw Night Trap was number 4. I was like, oh, do people actually really hate Night Trap? What the heck? All my health. Gone in an instant. Because I'm just bouncing. And the balloon. The weird little thing. They don't even make a noise as well. Like, I would at least be afraid of them if they make a noise. Instead, I get irritated. Because there's nothing. There's nothing that indicates, it, like, what's going on. This is a fun walkway. 
I feel like I'm at Disneyland when you get a walkway like this. I just want to go right behind it, didn't I? Cool. You get to spawn something a bit tougher for the quad damage, I don't know. Um, around and round and round I go. Where I'll stop. There he is. Get him. You don't, don't like him. Hate him. Oh, a little bit of, a little bit of geometry. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the ceiling. I don't trust that they're like never appearing. Ooh. 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 They're just bouncing down at me. He can't even aim at me. He's too far away. But now I've got to like take the take the drop, don't I? My legs, I needed them. Look at look at that enemy placement. They even took a rocket. I swear. I swear this is actually the, the most like hideous enemy in all of like all of the quake stuff. I'm gonna yell at that specific enemy. Yeah. Anyway, one last game. Oh my gosh, jeez. One last game, just to populate the end of the stream. I played uh, TT Isle of Man for a bit. Uh, I remember mentioning Ride and Ride deleting my save file a bit ago. Uh, well, TT Isle of Man is by the same devs. It's a 2018 release, but it's another bike game. Uh, but they are officially licensed. Oh, my face. Okay, let's not like get impaled. I'm just gonna bolt it. Nope. N very no. Okay. That one goes, okay, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm good, easy, first try. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I played the, or I, it wasn't quite that previous game ride, because I've got a ride too, and I don't think I own that one. Uh, but it's a, it's a bike game, there's nothing really too much to say about it, uh, the only thing I guess I can say is that they've got this Isle of Man, uh, which is a, a motorbike race that really exists, they've got that all licensed, and they've got the full track properly modeled in to scale. Now, because the full track is like 60 kilometers long, uh, they've only put nine other tracks which definitely aren't at anywhere near as long, but I also kind of think that's okay. That's a, that's a alright, like, thing to do. And especially, they don't charge a ton for this. I think it's only a $28 game. I don't think it's too expensive. Uh, they did chuck sidecarring. Like when you got the motorbike and you got the like little little bike next to it, they did chuck that as DLC that I've got to also pay for. But uh, the game's pretty much got like a kind of. I'm not one to really be into bikes, so I don't really know my array of bikes. That is a that is a mean spot for that guy. Um, it's got like a BMW. It's got like some Hondas, some uh, Yamahas, some other ones. Just Triumph, one of them. I don't know. It was all right. Uh, what I realized is that I kept crashing a bunch. Like, I uh, know, it's like, oh, okay, I can't play driving games. Uh, okay. That's a bit of an ominous way to exit the level. That's the end of the episode, is it? It keeps going on. Jeez. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Have I actually... I... Oh, I'm, I'm actually going to open up the freaking Steam browser and you're just going to like be looking at the menu for a moment because it's like, I've completely blanked on where that third secret level is. But I'm also like, did I actually miss that third secret level? So I'm just going to like briefly talk about this while uh, you see my mouse walk around, but you don't see the actual like game happening underneath. Uh... Oh, geez. Yeah, no, I'm still on episode two. Okay. No, that's entirely my bad. And... Uh... Yeah, no, nah, sorry. Alright, it's all fine. But also, uh, Mission 3. That's the one I gotta note. I think the bit that confused me is that Episode 1 finished at Mission... Oh no, that was, Yeah, it ended at Mission 4. This has a Mission 5. But the next one has a Mission 4 as well. So... Alright, so what is that actually? 13 levels. Uh, Mortem's Keep. I remember this level kind of irritating me a bit. But let's continue on, let's... We got the horn! I just get two dudes for the price of one? Cool. Uh... But yeah, no, it's, it's rather difficult. Like, I guess, as a bike game, if, uh... Oh, that's not my friend. 
I don't think any of my friends are around anymore. Uh, as a bike game, uh, like, yeah, when the wheel leaves the ground, like, if there's any kind of bump, that wheel leaves the ground, you're absolutely stuffed. And on top of that, like, the, the way that bikes kind of start and need to turn... What am I hearing? Oh, hi there. The way that bikes, like, need to turn... It's, it, it doesn't click with me as much. I'm too used to so many, like, car riding games, car driver games. So getting a bike game, it's like, it's a real different feeling. I've never played, um, uh, Polyphony's, uh, tourist trophy game that they made, uh, shortly after Gran Turismo, back in 2005. Um, it suffers a lot of the emulation issues that, uh, Gran Turismo 4 also has. Um, but I hear that game is, like, pretty alright at, like, getting into, I guess, like, the whole, like, sim idea of bikes. Uh, but yeah, no, like, you've got to really, like, slow into a corner, and then when the bike is slow, it's just so prone to, like, flinging you off, basically. Or, like, you lean too far in. Uh, I think the game's a little more approachable than I felt the, um, the ride game was, although it certainly is just ride again. It's just more of that. Um, but it's... It's, a, uh, it's got, um... Yeah, got more of the balls. It's got a bit of a charm to it, having that real circuit in it. Um, and I kind of like the, uh, it's kind of ripping off Project Cars a little bit in the way that its career works, where it's like, you're a guy and then you, like, read emails and get contracted to do, like, certain jobs, and if you win the races, then you do pretty alright. That kind of stuff. Uh, cool, okay. A sequence. Everyone loves a sequence. This is a fun spot. I hope nothing is right underneath me. Oh my gosh, look at all that stuff that's right underneath me. I can't believe he did that. Uh, I'm going for this. Nice, nice level design right here. Cool. Oh, further down I go. Everyone's favorite enemies to just completely hit with a grenade launcher. More of everyone's favorite enemies. Okay, now time to work my way out while holding onto a key for dear life. Oh, straight to the top. Oh yeah, this one was another weird one. It's like you had to stand here and then stand on this button. And that's a secret. I remember that one off the top of my head. It's just a bit of a weird one. I think you can also use that to jump over to the other side. Yeah, uh, yeah, not too much to say, but I am, I am enjoying it a little bit. Oh, you can, you can see this as well, can't you? Look at that, they chuck, oh my goodness, this is the worst game in the world. <laughs> Who said, yeah, nah, spawn the freaking floaty, no sound monster right there. At least they blow up on walls, at least they blow up on walls. Uh, that's the side of the level, so nothing to see there, but... I think there's another one up there, yeah, cool. Oh my gosh, this one's everywhere. They want me to shoot that, only to find a secret area, cool. We got a bridge. Uh, I guess there's little, little dudes down here. And you could take the, the lift up, or you could swim it. Where does this go to? Who knows? Did I just... Hit one of the blow-up things? Oh my gosh, jeez. Alright, there's bars open elsewhere. And then just me wandering around this one little bit. I'm really curious where this even comes from, but sure. Okay. Maybe they'd never want wanted me to find this, and they wanted me to go, No, you're going to the door. You jerk game. You know what's the best part? Like, one, I didn't save. And two... 150. 150 damage. 152. It's just, like... Who did this? Who did that? That is actually the worst level design I have ever seen. Nah, it's, it's not the worst I've ever seen, but it's like, that's just like... Like, as a, that's just beginner's pitfall. This enemy is just beginner's pitfall. Like, at least you can react and dodge to, a, to like, another enemy. And he only deals, like, 30 damage. But those spiky things... Like 150. Just straight up. If you don't have armor, you're absolutely stuffed. Uh, 
I'm finding all the secrets in this level. Wow. That must be really good. Oh, I remember this part being an absolute pain. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit easier now that I'm not on Nightmare. But there's a handful of dudes here. These lightning things are actually hitting you with lightning as you walk past them. There's three enemies. I'm just going to bolt to the end. There's three shamblers. There's a bunch of stuff going on there. It's an absolute, like, chaotic ending. I don't even know what's up with that. But yeah, like, me coming up to that, I had no health. Like, the first time I played that. So, that was painful. Anyways, after destroying the power generator, you pass beyond the gate of Mortem's Keep. A wave of nausea suddenly flows over you, and you find yourself cast out into a liquid void. I, I guess, like, I always thought Void is like an absence of anything, so it being a liquid armor, you float lifelessly, yet aware, into a lavender sea of energy. After what seems like an eternity, you feel the presence of a diabolical intelligence. You are held helpless for a moment as your mind is open to that of Armagon, Quake's general and master of this realm, recognizing you as the one who foiled his attempt to conquer Earth. A hellish howl fills your mind and blots out all consciousness. When you awake, you find yourself on the shores of reality, but in a time and place unknown to you. The shores of reality, okay. So now we get into maybe the more abstract kinds of levels. We got a bio suit, uh, we can pop your head out here and immediately see uh, a long little walk, or like, bit here. I don't know, you press the button, does something. I'm gonna hop down. So this is Tur Torment, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but sure, okay. So four more levels plus a secret level. And I need the silver key. So I guess nearing the end of the expansion already. Uh, I don't have anything to take out those guys, so... But they gave me the double shotgun very early, so... I don't hate them for that one. And I guess they gave me the rocket launcher if I... If I dared to... You, look at that. Look at that. I was on their games already, and they've spawned a Vore up there, like, they, they just know. I can't do anything about this, like, Vore shot. I can just dance around it. I see some more, like, things down there as well. I don't have any shots, wow. Okay, I... There it is. Um... Yeah, okay. Strange, bizarre. Nice. Still didn't pick up the key, so I guess I gotta just go all the way back up here. Hi there. Well, I guess I spawned uh, these guys back here. Maybe it was the button I press. Ugh. Okay, so stand here, press the button, and away you go. Oh, for reference as well, I want to show off the most amazing shortcut. So hold on, I just want to like let this start going. You can jump over here and you can be on the roof, which is kind of cool. Now, if you go up here, that's a secret place. If you're gutsy, you can keep walking up here. The game then goes, I swear, you're not supposed to be here. And it spawns three of these things, which is actually not the worst because then you can kind of cheese the level. I'm going to take the level a bit more legitimately. Oh, four of them. Sorry. Four. I'm going to take the level a little bit legitimately. Uh, they could have just made the ledge not, like, not that walkable. I don't know why they kept it that way, but sure. Look at that. There's a big health down here. I unfortunately don't have... Oh, I do have rockets. Cool. This level is just mostly, like, things I can shoot rockets at. Yeah, no, that's a fun little secret. I like it. It's good fun. I've got to now wait for this to roll all the way back. So, so I guess with that, uh, now we look into the future for the kinds of games that we've got. I, I guess I spent this whole stream talking about four other four games that I just casually played. Um, but looking to the future, I guess this week ahead, people are definitely hyped for Elden Ring. 
They spawned another dude over there. People are definitely hype for Elden Ring. Uh, all I'll say is don't get like tons hyped. Never, never get tons hyped because then you'll be decently like surprised when the game comes out and it'll be good, maybe. But if you get your hypes up too much, you get that same issue that plagued Cyberpunk. It was good. Like, the weirdest part is that Cyberpunk, when it works, is good. When it works. But I think people hyped it up to be the best thing ever. Way before they actually knew that it was good. And Deus Ex. A lot of people haven't played Deus Ex. It's really surprising. No Human Revolution, just the original. Uh, so, maybe I should play Deus Ex on stream. I think it's the second time I've floated that idea around as well. Uh, I'm curious what's down here. Who what I ah, hi mm. <laughs> That was that was on on me for using this. Uh I guess I'll just go with this. Hi there. It does a bit of damage when he's hugging you, but at least it's not when he jumps on you. Woo like that! Ooh my gosh. That's wow, that's a he's gone, he's gone. Okay. This is a an amazing sequence of enemies, I swear. I guess it's just around this corner, is he? Jeez. Okay. <laughs> and all that is me doing a little bit of a secret at the end of this. Can I just like jump up here? Whoop! Comes out. And then it goes back in. I wonder if that, that's probably how you're supposed to do it, like just take the hit for a moment. Oh. Hi there. It's kind of weird, that's a, that's a little like secret that I just got. Not a secret, but just here's an item, so... Uh, I will say, me as an individual, I am slightly more excited about uh, Grid Legends. Comes out the same day as... Uh, as um, Elden Ring, but yeah, me, I'm a sucker for a Codemasters racing game. And it seems that after the EA acquisition, they haven't exactly gotten bad. Codemasters have always had a little bit of a weird history, like they've, um, you know, just kind of like a couple of like shameless cash grabs at times. Uh, can I go up? Because I, I realize that that's my problem, I need to get reached the top of this tower. I like these little like side routes and this tower is actually pretty cool. I'm amazed that they've like chucked all this like map in as well for a 57 enemy count uh, map. It's remarkably good. When the when this expansion works, it's it's got real good level design. Pick up the key and yep, there we go. Well that wasn't the key's doing. I thought that's good enough. That's neat. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. So if I come back down here, now I've got this wonderful part right here. That's neat. Uh, so now I've got the silver key, so how about let's go through that silver door that was... This is the outside, so I guess I go up a little bit. And I'll have the one little walkway across here. It's a bit too quiet. Hi there. They didn't give you much use of it, did they? Did this one an enemy behind me? Did I? Okay. I thought I heard one. They give you another one. Oh wait, no, that's my friend. That's my friend! That's my friend! Oh, cool, okay. Oh, double cool. I'm, I'm, I'm running away from, from those explosions, I don't like them. He's sitting on one, he's actually sitting on one. It's, it's up his butt right now. <laughs> Cannot believe it. Can you go get him? Can you go get him? Cool. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Good on him. Really good on him. Man, 
I need a gold key as well. The gold key wasn't behind him, was it? But then again, it's got the whole, like, underneath region as well, and I didn't get, like, I oh, don't know. No, the key was just behind him. Who knows? Who knows what the rest of the level entails? In we go. There's like four enemies left. What could they possibly throw at me? Spiders! Arid ones. It's like 3D Quake over here. Okay. It's it's rearing up. Kablooey! Kablooey! There you go. Leap into the exit below. Okay. You know what everyone loves? More tech levels. Pandemonium. Here we go. Well, it's not quite a tech level because I guess it's. Oh, it's got the it's got the enemies from the tech levels. Is that the name? That's like a Doom name for a level, isn't it? A level that just has computers everywhere as a tech level. That's it. Uh, scorpions. Yeah. Dude, yeah, the scorpions are weird enemies, I swear. It's weird as well, they chuck him right in the first level. And they're not, like, jokes. Uh... Okay, there he goes. I hope there's not none of the other weird, like, floating mine things. Ooh, hi. Okay, there's a guy right above me, so I'm gonna get him with the old one-two. Stairs. Ugh. Barrier opens elsewhere, I guess, yeah. Um, also, just as a, another fun release that I, I feel like maybe people should be reminded of is, uh, I'm looking forward to Shadow Warrior 3 on, uh, that's a March... I wanna say March 1st, but it might be like March, like, 5th. It's at least, like, not this week, but next week. Uh, who decided to make this a moving platform and not just a bridge that's solid? I'll never know. He stole my super shoddy! Did you see that message? That actually came up. Wow. How often does, like, that actually irritate you considering they don't have, like, much health at all? Let's get him up here. There we go. guy right behind me and I got the little, little scrotum balls again. I don't like him. I hate him. Oh, it only blocked one. There you go. That's more than half the enemies in the level just because, <laughs> you know, the, the little ranger enemies are not particularly strong. They didn't put another scorpion behind the other wall, did they? Oh. Maybe not on this, this difficulty. Okay, up we go. Bonk. Bonk. Cool explosions. Explosions make it the man. There you go. Now you just gotta run over and... They could have made this easy on me. But they didn't. And also with that, or right at the end of February. Like, next stream is gonna be February 28th, but... I see ya, I see ya. I don't have the regular grenade launcher, I notice. Okay, well... I guess I could just ride this down, can't I? He's still, he's still chill- oh, I... There you go. Easy source. Now I gotta awkwardly wander through most of the level again, just because I've... Wait. Just before I leave, yeah. What did that button do again? It knocked over some pillars. Didn't exactly click in my head if that actually did activate anything. I'm just gonna wander back. I'm just gonna wander back. Uh, I guess I could drop down here. Break my legs. Cool. Ah, okay. Must be in these bars. Okay. Who, who put this guy on a... 
Who, I was gonna say, who put this guy on a br Oh, I didn't even save when I walked right up to him. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, uh, gosh. But yeah, no, I guess end of February. You know, the, the year is going too quick. Well, it's not quite the end of February yet. But still. Still. Hey, a little portal, despite... Okay, sure. So what is the secret area? It's just directly over where I just was. Cool. Alright, but now I've got a key. So now I can wander back to the starting room. And open the door. Get on the floor. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a weird, like, rendering thing with this. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. Everyone's favorite enemies come for a hug. Okay. And also, I see that guy up there. Hi. This guy would probably be easier to take on while I'm just sitting down here. Funny. So you can hit him, like, real high on his hitbox as well. He's not even, like, he's not even struggling. There you go. Easy. And he is holding on to the... Well, he wasn't holding on to that key, but sure. Alright, did they spawn any mine things not on me? No, oh. Down I go. Down. 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 It, you feel like, I feel like never long bottom. Oh, I see this. You see that? That's a misshapen texture. There must be a switch on that one. Oh. Wait a minute. Also, was that was that literally to activate the thing behind me? I did. It was. I just didn't even click in my head. Cool. Okay. Anyways, some more dudes up to no good. They are making trouble in my neighborhood. Okay. Every, everyone's dead by now. I've even taken out everyone up here. So I don't know. I guess we just leave. Jump to the rift gate to exit. Cool. Welcome to Limbo! Uh, wasn't... Didn't Doom 64 have a Limbo level? <laughs> I'm only... I'm only doing, uh... That many notes before, uh... Universal Music Group copyrights my video. I wonder if they're actually already copywriting this one. Like... The last two streams got copyrighted because of uh, Trent Reznor music. I'm curious if uh, this is under the same label or if this is actually going to be video game music that isn't freaking like held by a record label and I can actually monetize and have a video be playable and other things. That's always a fun one about making making YouTube videos. You're at the mercy of YouTube. You know one thing that did kind of surprise me though this week was how horrendously far uh, Facebook, now Meta, you gotta call them Meta as a parent company now, but I guess who calls them Alphabet, you know? They're still always Google. I love how like when uh, we were playing Nine Inch Nails of Music. Oh, it was more that the, um, the... The soundtrack to the original, to base game Quake, is by Trent Reznor. And everything is just licensed, like, by Universal Music Group. On, on, well, I guess detected by YouTube. And you can't, like, copyright dispute things when, like, the song is actually there. Like, you can, you can maybe try. You can maybe try and hope that, like, no one actually cares when you counter dispute. They claim the quake. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the worst part is, like, every single thing that Universal Music Group claims now, they remove playback on other devices, which means you cannot watch the VOD on, um, on an Xbox, for example. And it's just, like, it's a, it's a little bit of weird traffic. And also, like, I embed it in Discord. And it's just, like, I send it to, to friends. And it's just like, oh, here's the video. Oh, you can't, you can't view it. You gotta click the link. It's just really inconvenient. Um, I don't like it. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, the, the, pretty much the whole Quake soundtrack is just, yeah, I don't know, it just counts. Um, so, uh, the other obnoxious one, uh, 
that I've, I've had to do as I've, since I've started these streams was um, uh, Earthbound was particularly the most annoying one because they not only copyright claimed it, but they also put a, a strike on my channel and prevented its playback in other regions. And uh, the strike was just like, oh, okay. I've, I'm fortunately under a YouTube partnership program, so... Partnership program as in like... I, as in like way back when... Way back when YouTube gave YouTube partner status like very easily. Oh my gosh, jeez, it's going, it's going ham. That nail is going ham. Um, and uh, and that at least means that if I get hit by a claim, like I can talk to a, a real person apparently. Although I never actually did talk to a real person during that. That one's probably on me. Why can I drop down here? Why can I drop down here? Yeah. Why would I want to drop down here just now? So we're gonna walk through- oh wait, I'm at the beginning of the level. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay. Okay, now I gotta understand like this. And I've already got 55 of the kills, so... Oh, the key is here. Oh, hi there. Yeah, you told me they were rocket resistant. Well, I've got no option at that range, maybe this. It's not really working out that quickly. I'll, I'll have him just run down there, actually. That works. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, but yeah, no, the Earthbound one was the worst one. I basically, like, how I sorted it out was I, I put in the counter claim, then I put in the counter appeal, and then I put in the, like, send me to jail if this is actually wrong, like, form. Um, and they make a big point on it and YouTube like it's not the easiest because it's a different form every time so you're answering different questions um, it's not the nicest but uh, by the end like the problem was is that they would have to actually send me to court and uh, it's not one it's not in their best interest too I legitimately don't think it's like that they've got it and it's totally not worth their time anyways but it's just a pain that it's like hey I can't play Earthbound <laughs> On YouTube because the music is like at one point was published by Sony in a in an album release it's not even like it's not even the same like material or oh, sorry it actually might be exactly the same but, but it's just like it's obviously just music ripped from the game and yet like me playing the game which is the original medium it's like freaking if you reviewed a film and then they said like oh like the guys who, like, published the, the film's soundtrack get to, like, have complete ownership of your video. It's like, no. No. That's not how it works. That's not how it works at all. Content ID is so, like, busted because of that. But, alas, everyone everyone hears me talk about content ID too much. So, uh, I believe you gotta shoot the cross. Fall down the hole. And you end up sitting above here. So why am I above here? Like I can know, I know you can shoot the cross. I guess you can swim down. There we go. This is a secret exit. I don't even think I know where the regular exit was. I'll take it though. I believe uh, they just give you a deathmatch map. Um, they kind of they kind of gave up on this one, but this is a very bizarre deathmatch map as well. Um. It's basically a bunch of platforms floating out in space. I actually don't mind the idea of like deathmatch maps, but you uh, chuck enemies on them. But still, it's just like, now you can tell it's like, and this is actually like something a lot of the uh, Quake 3 levels have started to look like. Like this kind of like wide, just empty space, like everything's black. I wish that'd give me a bit more health though. If I can spawn another dude. Get him, doggos. Oh, they've got the boars. That's my zombie. I got hit by my own zombie's poop. That's okay. And you can see, they put the boar over there. That's just... And the... And the balls! The balls! I hate the balls. I hate them. 
It's a fun little secret level. I actually, like, when I was reading up on it, I was like, oh yeah, this was a deathmatch map? Like, it, it definitely looks like a deathmatch map. But it still plays like a level to some extent. I think that's kind of neat. Like, you still gotta work your way uphill. And I guess if you chuck all these enemies around, it can feel like a real level to some degree as well. But it's kind of neat. I guess with that as well, this is going to be the second last level in the, in the expansion. So, my thoughts on it, uh, yeah, I guess it's more quaint. That's pretty much all I can say. Um, can I get him with a bit of lightning? I get him with this. Okay, I'm on 7 health. They don't give you any health, do they? Oh, they give you a little super health here. Put a key on top of here, you know, fun spot. So basically, the level ends somewhere inside where I'm standing. I just don't know where in particular. Well, let's get this guy up here. Oh, that just clipped to the ground, didn't it? You saw that. I'm on my pyramid. It Also, I guess the fascination with just spawning these enemies, like, wherever they want. Okay, I'm going around the corner. You can't get me. Like, yeah, legit, all these enemies keep showing up. I can go in here. So many boars, I swear. Oh. Everyone's favorite, the shambles. Uh, I don't have... Yeah, cool. I'm gonna hope that this corner lasts me forever. Oh my gosh, it did last me just as long. I'm gonna chuck the hammer. Why not? That's a fun spot, like, in the deathmatch as well. And this is the end of the level. Cool, okay. It's just a neat little, little level there. The final level, the gauntlet, or as Doom 2 called it, the gantlet. <laughs> Without the U. Everyone's favorite weapons. I still do not have the regular grenade launcher. The proximity grenade launcher, I will say, really no purpose it's it's not the easiest to use and the regular grenade launcher is already a bit not easy to use it's probably neat in deathmatch but in in a regular gameplay it's not it's not the the most fun have we got an indiana jones trap we do have an indiana jones trap i'm gonna stand here bonk bonk uh where's the other one there you go bonk Whoop. I'm in the bloody room. Listen, I, I, I said it was a time of the month. I didn't say it was my time of the month. I'm very pissed about these guys attacking each other. They don't like it. Monster and fighting is one of the greatest features known to man. And to be honest, I mean, like, more Quake is always fun. You can't bung up Quake too bad, and these guys certainly know how to not bung it up. That's a good sign. I think I'm going to have to remind myself next week which one of these is the one I favor the most. The worst part, I know this platform is going to absolutely sink when I stand on it. I'm curious. I wanted to get him into the into the pool of lava, but no. Oh, everyone loves a death trap. Everyone loves a death trap. Let's not burn all the all the ammo in one go. Didn't Hexen have like a room like this where it's just like you had to know that the things are not quite gonna hit you if you're diagonal? Bonk. Look at that, a platform. Now I don't have to step in blood apparently. Oh. I will say on the on the topic of music, just as a complete non sequitur to what I was saying, I'm uh, definitely trying to listen to a lot of uh, older, interesting stuff. Uh, one one album I listened to recently, never heard it before, but 
I'd listen to one of her other albums. It was uh, Talking Heads Cure of Music. But it's, it's a real vibe. It's a really good album. I really dig it. Um, there's a lot of, like, fun variety. A lot of, like, aggression as well on, like, some of the tracks in the middle part. Um, that's good fun. Uh, starting off with effectively, uh, like, I, I see Robert Fripp in the credits. I see it's like, oh, this is just, like, discipline, but before discipline. Because it was just him. It's good fun. Um, yeah, nah. I would like to listen to a few more albums as well. Yeah, no, that one definitely kind of sprang out of me, so that was good fun. I actually did try my, my hand uh, getting back into music production again. Not like, like, I've never done it professionally. I've never done it well as well. But just like trying to understand Reaper a bit more, try to understand how to like space things out a bit more. Um, and I feel like I got a little bit better because, uh, uh, I made something that had like two, like double tracked guitars. I did the, I basically just played a cover of a song and played along to it. So I've kind of got the, um, like just playing it to that beat. So I wasn't really mapping the tempo in Reaper itself, but it's, uh, it was kind of neat. Just having like all these layers work out, making them quiet, making sure they're not like peaking too loud. Playing an instrument and making sure the volume stays consistent relative to the mic is still a tough one for me. I put my slide whistle. I've got. I've, I don't think I've ever played my slide whistle on stream, but just like for reference, I've got a slide whistle on my desk. It's the most fun, like seven dollar purchase right next to the two dollar kazoo, um, <laughs> and it's just like it just sounds like a recorder, except you don't have to know the notes on a slide whistle, except you kind of have to learn where the notes are on the slide whistle. You know what I mean? But it, it's it's good fun, um, and uh, and yeah, like I realized that like if I'm holding my slide whistle note for like too long, I personally get so quiet on the note, it just absolutely wanes out and disappears. Uh, and that's that's gonna be a problem that I gotta I gotta figure out, but uh, it's not too bad. I'm curious what's going on here, man. Okay, cool, cool room. I guess I'm going with the blood water instead. Piranhas! They never put the piranhas in like two mean spots in this expansion. They're always really approachable and just like the water enemy as well. Like there's no one else that they chuck in the water. They barely even chuck uh, zombies in the water. What is this guy getting upset about? There's a lot of vores though. A lot of vores. Okay, well, he's down. What does this button do? Wow. Time to go back to the very beginning of the level. Got like a little bit of ammo for this. I don't think it's quite enough. Shotgun's always terrifying just because like I don't want to shoot it that close. Oh, here we go. Here we go. A room full of the two new enemies. And the bomb, I guess. The bomb is absent, but just... Armagon awaits. Here we go. You're pumped for a secret boss, aren't you? Yeah. So here we go. Armagon's lair. This is an end level. Why not? Oh, I hope he's not big. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... I think you're probably going to be disappointed by a Quake final boss because it's like, well, I mean, I guess you could circle strafe and shoot. That's going to hit. But then again, I guess Doom's bosses were like that, weren't they? So there he is! There he is, Armagon himself. He fires rockets. He fires lasers. And he fires me into oblivion. I'm going to hit him with the hammer instead. I barely did anything. Where is he shooting now? Ooh! Ooh, out predict. Out, not out predict. That was it. <laughs> oh, that was a bit simple, wasn't it? 
I didn't even use the rockets on that one. Oh, just just have some fun explosions with blood. Cool. Well, there you go. Now, now I wander out to the center portal. Have it close on me? Is this like a, a spaceship? Is that what we're going with? Or is that like a I'm leaving? Oh. I don't even know what I'm looking at. I guess I'm, I'm, I'm just leaving out via this wall portal right here. Oh, wouldn't you know? You just gotta look at it for a bit before you can go in. Time it right. <laughs> and then you're just like, yeah, it's like, eh. So, after the last echoes of Armagon's death yell fade away, you breathe a heavy sigh of relief. With, lo with the loss of his magic, Armagon's fortress begins to collapse. The rift he created to send his grisly troops through time slowly closes and seals itself forever. In the chaos that ensues, a wall collapses, revealing one remaining time portal. With your chances to escape rapidly growing slim, you race for the portal. He stood in front of it for two seconds, mindless of your destination. In a flash of light, you find yourself back at Command HQ, safe and sound. Congratulations! You are victorious! The minions, minions of Quake have once again fallen before your mighty me uh, hand. Is this the last you will see of Quake's Mel uh, Hellions? Sorry. Hard to say, it's too bright in the back. Only time will tell. And yeah, I don't know why they described the same cutscene that you just saw. And anyway, that's that. That is Quake, Scourge of Armagon. I enjoy it actually, it's pretty alright. The levels, I appreciate a bit more f focus on adding space and then gothic and then gothic again. I guess I kind of did gothic twice. There's not too much variety you can do with the Quake's brown. Uh, texture sets, but that being said, I think they did a pretty alright job mixing it about, having a bunch of new enemies, pacing it pretty okay as well. The secret levels, uh, pretty okay. I'm not a big fan of the, um, the, uh, the proximity grenade launcher, but the laser gun's pretty okay, and the hammer is pretty okay. But, yeah, you kind of saw me kind of lean more towards just the rocket launcher, uh, and the, uh, I guess every other weapon, the nail gun and the shotgun, that's kind of my pick. Uh, but that being said, no, yeah, it was it was good fun. So I'm glad I played it just yet again on stream. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. So with that, I would like to say thank you very much for even watching the entire stream. Uh, if you did enjoy that, you can just follow me on Twitch and I just stream every day. That's about it. Well, not every day, oh, too much. Every week on Monday, on the same day. Uh, and uh, if you miss bits of this, the VOD will be on Twitch, as it always is, until two weeks. But it's always on YouTube. I'll, I always upload it the day after. So, that's all fine. Uh, other than that, make sure that you stay safe. Have a great week ahead. Don't let the winter cold or the summer cold, because it's still raining a ton over here. Don't let that kick in. Uh, just, uh, just make sure you stay safe, rug up. Don't skip work to play Elden Ring. Don't do that. I never told you to do it. It wasn't me. It was someone else. I think. But you can do it for Grid Legends. I'll let you do that. Alright. Have fun. Keep well. Don't stay up too late. Eat your greens. You know the, you know the rigmarole. I don't have to tell you.